In this video, we're going to show you how to install the torque strut on your Nissan Quest, located on the passenger side of the engine. With the hood open, we want to go ahead and loosen and remove this 10 millimeter bolt, as well as the one on the other side. Grab this here. Gently pull that up and out and set it aside. Let's go ahead and disconnect our ground terminal. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen that nut, wiggle the terminal and slide it off. Now right here where our windshield washer reservoir is, there's a plastic button retainer. We're gonna use our trim tool, pop out the center here. Remove that and set it aside. We use our 10 millimeter socket, loosen and remove this bolt. We're going to wiggle this out. This goes to our tank for our windshield washer. It's just held in by a rubber seal right here. So we pop that out and set it aside. On the side of our radiator cap here, we have our hose. I'm going to pop that off. I want to twist that off. Lift up on this tank, pull it up and out. Right here, we have our high pressure AC line that goes into this plastic retainer. You can try popping the line out of that, but sometimes it's easy just to re remove the entire clip. I'm going to use my needle nose pliers, compress the little plastic ears here, locking that tab in. You can release that like so. Right here, we have a power steering line. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Loosen and remove that. We're also gonna loosen and remove this 10 millimeter bolt for this bracket. This wiring harness is held on to the bracket with a little plastic retainer, just like our AC line. So use a pair of pliers, go ahead and pinch that clip. After you remove this bolt here, there's one down below. Remove your bracket. This harness right here has another plastic retainer, same as the others. Come around the backside, pinch the little tabs, and pull that out. Now our harness comes over to a ground right here. This isn't always necessary to have to remove, but what we want to do is get this whole module mobile. So I'm going to go ahead, loosen and remove this. Next, we want to loosen and remove our module here. There are four nuts and bolts securing this. Let's go ahead and start to loosen and remove these. It's a 13 millimeter. So that's a three. Our fourth one is down in the back, 
require a longer extension to get to. magnet to retrieve that bolt. The harness comes around the back side when it releases tab as well. Let's disconnect our electrical connectors on the top here. This one here has a yellow safety lock on it, so I'm going to use a pocket screwdriver. I'm gently going to get behind that and just pry that out and then push down on the top and wiggle that connector free. And on the other side here, this connector here is a little bit more tricky. I'm going to use a pocket screwdriver and I'm going to feed it in here and it's going to come out the other side and it lifts up. If you just gently pry up, it releases the lock and then simply wiggle that connector off. There it is. Now we're going to grab our module unit itself. We're going to lift it up and we're going to twist it because it's going to hit the AC line right here. So you're going to pick up, pivot that. Actually bring it up over that stud over here as well and bring this module over. Our torque strut itself is anchored by two 18 millimeter bolts. There's one in the back that goes down and then there's one on the outside here that goes in. So we're gonna use our deep socket and our longer ratchet and get into the back here. transfer over to the ratchet itself. All right, now that we have that loose with the hand ratchet, we'll switch over to our power tool and zip that out. Now the torque strut itself is gonna keep that motor from rocking back and forth as we're doing, or as we're removing this bolt. We might be able to just grab that motor and pull it forward or back and wiggle it to get that bolt out the rest of the way. There we go, get that bolt out. Grab that mount, pull that out. Go ahead and take the torque strut, feed that in. Feed that back into the body itself. I'm gonna install the bolt on the back side first. Drop that down. Now you will have to move that torque strut around to get that lined up. And then once you get it lined up, you're gonna get that bolt started, just a few threads. Or you can run it in as far as you want. We just don't wanna tighten it yet. We wanna make sure we have a little bit of flexibility. So at this point here, you can see that we have some flexibility up and down, which is perfect. Now I'm gonna install our horizontal bolt into the mount. And here's where that flexibility comes in. We have to pull up and down on that, get that bolt lined up. Because this is a torque strut, sometimes the motor shifts a little bit. That's gonna require you just to grab a hold of that and kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit 
to get that bolt to line up. Make sure you got it in several threads before you put any power tools on there. We have them both started. Let's go ahead and snug those down. All right. Let's go ahead and snug down the back bolt. I'm going to torque down our torque strut bolts to 32 foot pounds. Right, let's bring our module up into place and get that lined up on our studs. Let's install our securing hardware. Washer and a nut here. Install a bolt on the front here. We have a washer and a nut on the back corner here. This one's a little bit tougher to get to. There we go. Use the fingertips to go ahead and spin that in a few threads. Now we have everything started. We can go ahead and snug everything down there. That's all we need to do is just snug those into place. Install your wire harness retainer clips. Install your AC line bracket. I'm going to install the upper bolt here. Just run that down, but keep it loose. Then we have our AC lines over here. We have all three of those installed. Let's snug those down. Install your wire harness. We're going to line up our connectors here. Install the large connector, push it in. In here and fit lock in. Don't forget to push in on the yellow lock tab here. Install the other connector beside it. You're gonna feel in here that one lock into place as well. Let's install our ground strap on the body. Now grounding equipment is very, very important. So you wanna make sure that the ground bolt and the body are clean. And make sure it's good and snug. Bring your retaining button over. Good, line that up and push that in. And sometimes that AC line can get tweaked just a little bit. So I just kind of bend that over, bring that in. Go, nice and secure. 
Let's now go ahead and install our expansion tank. And on the lower portion here is gonna be a little part that slides into the bracket down below. You wanna make sure that that slides into place, securing the bottom. So slowly lower that down into place, wiggle it down. And then you're gonna get this to line up right here. Install that 10 millimeter bolt. You wanna gently snug that down. Don't over tighten it as you can crack the plastic if you tighten it too much. So let's just snug it down. Now we can install the hose onto our radiator and bring a little retainer clip up to secure that hose. And install our windshield washer neck, sliding this down into the lower portion. And you'll know that it's seated all the way once this bracket or mounting tab lines up. Install your plastic retainer. Get the bottom portion pressed in. Sometimes it can be a little bugger. Press that button to secure it. Now at this point, let's go ahead and reconnect the battery. Install the ground terminal. Slide that down on the post. Using your 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and snug that down. Once it bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. Make sure it's good and snug. Give that post a little wiggle. We're good and secure. Lower the air box down into the air filter port. Wiggle it down. Line it up and install your two 10 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and snug them down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.